Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where we talk everything K-pop, K-drama, and soon one day K-food. Today we're going to switch things up a little bit and not talk about our favorite group Secret Number and talk about ITZY's debut. If you're a K-pop or an ITZY fan, please subscribe and like this video, I truly appreciate it. Let's rewind a little bit and talk about how I got into K-pop this year. During the lockdown, there wasn't much media to consume. Luckily for me, I stumbled upon Blackpink thanks to my fiance. Blackpink didn't have a new launch, they just finished their concert tour the USA and there wasn't much news. I was watching all the old stuff and upon looking at all the K-pop news, I found out that a group called TWICE was beating them in the Asia markets. For the first 2-3 months, I was just Blackpink and that's it. However, I was intrigued to find out how another group is better than Blackpink. Wouldn't you like to know? For that, you just have to jump down the rabbit hole called TWICE. There's a cool reality show called 16 where JYP held a competition like American Idol style elimination where they chose the final 9 members. And what does this have to do with the ITZY debut reaction video? Well, JYP is also the agency for, you guessed it, ITZY. If you haven't watched the show 16, I highly recommend it because Che Young from 16 didn't make twice as we all know. However, she eventually debuts with who? It's a. For me, Che Young has a special place because I watched her through many, many episodes in the reality TV show where she almost made twice, got cut, but very happy to find out uh, later on that she made this group. The show does a great job talking about each person's strengths, weaknesses. JYP is a really good producer and also boss. He gives organic food to his entire staff in his building. No one has to pay for anything. His philosophy is just taking care of each other, improving. That's why he has that very uh, shiny pop label, not very um, underground like YG is. I know all ITZY songs because there's not much. There's Not Shy, Wannabe, Dala Dala, Icy. There might be a two or three more. However, I've never seen a debut stage, so let's react to it or experience it together right now. With that said, let's go. All right, we have Yeji, Leah, Rujin, Ter Young, and Yuna. Mitzi's, let me know if I said that all correctly, please. Korean debut stages are pretty crazy. They put a lot of money into it. In America, it's nothing. Unless you're famous, then the MVs are really nice. So, Yeji's a leader. I don't know all the positions yet, but we'll try. We got Rujin leading off. I believe she's one of the main vocalists slash rappers. The outfits remind me of Twice's Ua debut. I put a picture here. We got Chae Young, who is the main dancer. However, all five of these girls can dance amazingly. And JG's got those cat-like feline eyes. Really cute. Leah's the only English speaker, I believe. Maybe even maybe not her, I don't even know. Yuna's the maknae. Their energy is so high all the time. You have to like be up here to keep up with them. And a lot of people are liking them to a BTS because their songs are about uh, female empowerment, confidence, uh, just overall being your best. And her choreographer loves using hand movements. Woo. So people praise them for the really sharp dance moves. Can you tell below? Okay. 
They already came to the US for a concert. Unfortunately, I missed those. Here's my favorite part. Everybody. What does Chala mean? The girls are just oozing with confidence. They're like not even debuting here. This is like them collecting awards. None of them look shy. None of them look nervous at all. So guys, for a debut, this doesn't seem like their debut. This seems like their 10th or 20th performance. They don't look shy. They look. They don't look shaken. They look well polished. With all the girl groups coming out, these girls shine really, really high. They've won a ton of awards. They're already doing uh, concerts all over the place. They're gonna give Blackpink a run for the money, I feel. They just came out last year, so they're poised to just go straight up from here. They don't have a full album yet, so I'm looking forward to that so I can get one myself. I feel like they're the younger version of Secret Number. Don't kill me, I said it. In the following weeks, I'm gonna do a deep dive in each of the members' profiles, so stay tuned for more. That's it for today's videos, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.